Good evening, everyone. Happy Friday. We did it. We filled up 2018 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo. Pick your team number six from jazbeescasebreaks.com. This is our last case of Super Jumbo. We do have a couple more jumbos, though. But big thanks, to everybody, for getting into the action right here. This is a good rally as well. I thought I was going to sit for another night, but no. People were like, no, not this time, Joe. Anything with that last bot mojo. So good luck to him. Good luck to everybody. Excuse me if I sound like sound like I'm singing like Ariana Grande. She mumbles a little bit. I've got a lozenge in my mouth. Gotta I gotta preserve this golden voice. We, we still have one more night tomorrow. Just like, just drink honey tomorrow. Just entire bear shaped bottle of honey. This is heavy. Super jumbo. All right, there you go. I should, I should just, I could just curl cases of super jumbo, get a decent workout. Right, do do triceps as well, you know, and work on the core, do all that. All right, the super jumbo, as you know, five autographs per box. So you can look over there, Eric Bailey. Joe, is your voice insured with Lloyd's of London? It is not, Eric Bailey, but it sounds like a good idea. The business needs this voice. I, I love these sausage link packs as well. So as you know by now, in the interest of time, we will be breezing through the parallels, unless it's like a super fracture, obviously. And I'll just be setting those aside so our sorting and shipping team will sleeve and top load those before they go out. Remember, paper base doesn't ship. Everything else does. Everyone, did anyone get anything uh, cool for Christmas that you guys want to share? I just got, I just asked my parents for cash. <laughs> Friends and family, just give me cash. So I can make investments on, on professional sports teams. I got, I got myself a Nintendo Switch. I think everyone knows, knows that. We were talking about it a number of weeks back. Finally got it. Enjoy it. I love it. It's a lot of fun. A lot of, lot of Mario karting. You just got cash? At, the, at this stage in our lives, sometimes it's a little bit easier. I mean, it's like the right gift just really, really hits you. Also, my tastes are like far too expensive now. Right? So I can't be like, hey, uh, mom and dad, you know what I really want is like a $3,000 Rickenbacker electric guitar. They're not going to do that. Mom, I need a new $1,000 laptop. Like, no, that's not going to do that. That's not going to work. Oh, nice. Rory got a nice display cabinet for all of your sports memorabilia stuff. Awesome. Oh, you got a Switch as well, Rich. I did not buy a P uh, Pokemon game yet. I need to. Anthony, you got a you got a 1911 pistol. Nice. Wait, from 1911? Like a Like an old, like a vintage? Or is that a model of a gun? I don't know guns. I want to get a gun too. I might, maybe next Christmas. I'll treat myself. In California, it'll take me years to get a gun. I'm kidding. It doesn't take that long.
Oh, it's the model? Beretta? <laughs> Is it a Beretta model? Is it Smith & Wesson? Springfield armor. I got you. Well, maybe, Anthony, you can help me gun shop next year. All right. There's Joe Adele to four ninety nine. What kind of scotch did you get yourself, Rory? We'll randomize these left, right. And there's our... Of course, there you go, Anthony. Last spot mojo. See how nobody wanted the Mariners? Josh Stowers is the first autograph. Six box jumbo six. Havlin, I've not heard of that, but I'm sure I would enjoy it, though. What games do you have, Rich, for your Nintendo Switch? It's it's great. I, I, I'm not a big video gamer, so I haven't purchased a system, um, I think, ever. I don't think I've ever purchased a video game system. Not, not an Xbox, not even a, a PlayStation or whatever. But this made sense. I was like, it's it, uh, the, the portability is what I really liked. There's Heliot Ramos to 99. I had a Game Boy. Loved that Game Boy. So I was just like, but I didn't do any of the, the 2DS or 3DS stuff because it just didn't seem as powerful, you know. But now, like, this is an actual system that's portable. That's the one thing, like, Nintendo would always do that portable Game Boy system really nicely. That's one of their best sellers. And so... We'll breeze through this paper. So the portability of it is what is what I definitely love. This break brought to you by Nintendo Switch. Oh, I, th I think this is our first um, sparkly auto we've seen. 33 out of 71, Grayson Rodriguez. That goes to Karen and the O's. Nice one, Karen. Eleventh overall pick, nice. Oh, you got it for Smash Brothers. I haven't, I haven't picked that one up yet either. Wait, that is the yeah. Isn't he usually a redemption? Maybe these lower parallels he actually signed, and he's like, ah, eh, I'm not gonna sign the base ones. All right, so that's just, we should be expecting three more autographs. I think there's one autograph per stack, I'm, I'm almost certain. We'll breeze through this paper. Purple paper, Ford, Proctor, and Gamble out of 250. Goes to the Rays. And Ryan Rollison... For the Rockies, Jeff Goldberg with the Rocks. Um, we have a two-box Bowman draft break, ladies and gentlemen. That two-box, it's a mixer featuring one box of the Super Jumbo and then one box of a regular Jumbo. We should knock that out tomorrow. We're giving away a box of Dynasty in that. Good chance to get some of the pricier teams. Maybe get that randomized to you at a fraction of the price. Maybe stumble at some nice hits. That's nice. Tristan Houses to 150 for the Red Sox. If you're just joining us, folks, this is our last break of the night. Anything else that fills, we will break tomorrow. There's uh, Yusniel Diaz, former Dodger prospect. 
I was in the uh, Machado deal. That's one to keep an eye on, Karen. Because he was one of the top prospects for us. There's Anthony Ziegler. I feel like he's a redemption too. But not here. There's a live auto of him. Yankees. Eric Bailey. with a. This is like a unicorn, Eric. This guy's usually a redemption. Well, there he is. In the flesh. Is that Gary Sanchez replacement? I think so, man. Maybe. Looks like he's... The back of the baseball card seems to suggest that he is uh, better defensively. Is he a prep school kid? Oh, no, yeah. So maybe, maybe not direct Gary Sanchez replacement, but maybe in a few years or so. Move Gary to first base. Keep his bat in the lineup. Get a better defensive catcher back there. There's Jackson Coar, 250 purple chrome. You're welcome, Eric. No, I think they'll keep <laughs> Eric Bailey. I hope not. I have a ton of Gary Sanchez cards. No, I'm I'm suggesting that that they're just want they just want to move Gary Sanchez out of the catching position. I think they'll keep Gary Sanchez. I don't see them moving him anytime soon, right? He's got a great bat, but he's he's candidate for like DH or first base maybe. Sliding over there. Yeah, DH more like it, right? Just get him off the field. <laughs> Lenny. Lenny Torres, four ninety nine. And Tyler Frank, refractor auto to four ninety nine. That'll be for the Rays. That'll be for Eric Bailey. He's heating up. Shall be paper. There you go. All right, there you go. There are your five right here. Slide these over here. All right, good luck, everybody. Nick, we are located in Los Angeles. In the South Bay of Los Angeles, California. We're probably, yeah, Redondo Beach specifically. We're probably, I don't know. Five, five, six miles south of LAX as the crow flies. Pretty close to the, the new stadium they're building out here. It's just down a little bit down the freeway. So I, I made kind of a, I feel like it's sort of a, a frivolous purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, I talked about this a little bit before. I don't know if some of you may have this, but but I bought I bought one of these, one of those vacuum sealed metal water bottles that all the kids have these days. It really does keep water really cold. I had one of those Brita water bottles with the filter inside and the straw that goes, and it was that was that was great, but it would never stay cold. I kind of like the water to be cold. I don't like lukewarm water. So I got one of those. These things are really expensive. Like I bought one, like. Anyone have one of those fancy water bottles? I think they're vacuum sealed. I think there's like a, a double wall right there to keep it cold, right? But they suck out all of the air right here, so they vacuum seal, seal it. I don't know, something like that. But anyway, 
I feel like it was a bit of a frivolous purchase. Considering how expensive it is for a freaking water bottle. But, but yeah, those, well, I, I went, I, I was going to get a Yeti, but I went with that one because they, they got my, they, they, they triggered my bleeding heart, Eric Bailey. They were just like, hey, you know, proceeds from buying this water bottle will go send like fresh drinking water to like third world countries and whatnot, which they probably don't. I mean, they probably do, but it's probably a scam. They probably only send like three gallons um, out there. Who knows? I mean, it's all accounting, right? So I'm sure they get a nice tax write-off or something like that. But anyhow, that got me. Oh, no, not Greg, where were you a week ago? REI just had a, had 32 ounces for 50%. Yeah, okay. See, that that's a manageable price. There's Matt Manning. Blue chrome to 150. Um, I think, I think you can put it. It keeps cold things cold and hot things hot. So yeah, I, I'm I'm definitely gonna try putting some uh some delicious delicious beer in there. There's Jazz Chisholm to 499. <laughs> yes, Jeremy S. Exactly. It does stay extra cold in my Tesla. Absolutely. And there's Nick Schnell for the Rays. Another one for Eric. He's on fire. He's, right? Like, there's from downtown. He's heating up. And he's on fire. NBA Jam rules. He's on fire. Nice. Yeah, when I'm driving, when I'm driving around in the hot, hot California sun, you don't want your water bottle to get warm. <laughs> this is like first world problems. You don't want your water to get warm. <laughs> you can't, can't drink lukewarm water. <laughs> They're like kids who don't have fresh drinking water in the world. And here I am going, I need it to be cold or else I can't drink it. All right, there's Jeremiah Jackson to 250 purple chrome. But yeah, it's a fr it's it, to me it's a frivolous purchase. This and this is the guy that like gambles on sports, right? Like but like, you know, some could consider that if someone could consider this a frivolous purchase, buying baseball cards. But that that was my that was my oh. this is and this was not a matter of like, can I afford it or not? This is not it's nothing like that. It was just literally like, ugh, am I really gonna pay like thirty five dollars for a freaking water bottle? Just because I want to keep cold. Have you really gone three cases of draft in a row hitless, Rory? No, we got you. Was that three cases ago? I was going to say, we got you a Alec Bomb, I think. Or two, even. But maybe that was three cases ago. Since then, nothing, maybe. Any guesses on that redemption right here, folks? Oh, so it was three breaks ago. Rory saying, well, since I don't have the Brewers, it'll obviously be, uh, be Bryce Turing. <laughs> John is also saying Bryce Turing because he bought the Brewers again after I didn't hit 
didn't hit him. I think yeah, I think you missed that. You skipped a break or something like that, John. And then you were, and then there was the Bryce Turing. There's Rogers' kid, Cody Clemens. And that'll be for the Tigres. That goes to Karen Paglia. Got two Karens in this break. There you go, Karen P. All right, let's let's look. You are due to receive a Chrome draft pick autograph of R Rory Wagner. What if I pull? What if I pull this card and it says Rory Wagner? No, it's not going to be Rory. Ryan Ryan Weathers for the Padres. Ryan Carl Weathers. And that goes to Jess Fox and the Padres. There you go, Jess. Ryan Carl Weathers. Ladies and gentlemen, what, what is your favorite Carl Weathers performance? The cinematic titan, Carl Weathers. This is baseball player Ryan Weathers, but Carl Weathers. Was he in Happy Gilmore? I don't know, why am I blanking on that? Predator, of course, classic. Was he in Action Jackson? I don't remember that. He's been in a lot of stuff, that's why I'm asking. Everyone has their favorite Carl Weathers performance. Someone uh, the other night, we had this conversation before, so, someone mentioned the other night, um, Arrested Development. Carl Weathers is pretty hilarious in Arrested Development. And there's a Braxton Ashcraft. And that goes to John G. and the Pirates. One more autograph to go in this particular box. Making some pretty good time already. And there's Jeremy Ironman. For the A's, that goes to Eric Bailey and the Athletics out of 499. There's the next auto coming up right there. We'll hide it a little bit. And behind Josh Bro is Jake Wong. 74 out of 150 for the Gigantes. Michael Losey with that one. Nice Jake Wong. What do I think about the – are there really rumors that John Cena is going to be the new Captain America? That's what Jeremy S. is reporting, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I mean, what, who does John Cena think he is? The Rock? I thought the, I thought the guy that does Captain America now seems to do all right. Does he not want to do it anymore? All right, Carl Weathers, uh, Rocky, obviously. No one mentioned Rocky. Rocky, Apollo Creed. Was he in Close Encounter of the Third Kind? Oh, he was just. 
What else was he in? Yeah, pre Predator, obviously. I don't know. I don't know a lot of these. All right, there are your sausage link packs. He was in an episode of Starsky and Hutch. An episode of ER. The Shield. Street Justice. Chicago Justice. Chicago PD. Wait, is he really going to be in The Mandalorian? Star Wars fans? He's attached to The Mandalorian. Rich is asking, is that why John Cena got a hair transplant? Trying to be Captain America. It's, so the original guy, I don't know who the original guy is. His, his contract is up. So they're looking for, they're on the hunt for a new, for a new uh, Captain America. Interesting. I feel like they should just go with like an unknown. You know, just get a new face of just a new actor. Not someone as recognizable as John Cena. And just just have it be that. Chris Evans is his name. DC is lame anyway, except for Batman. I'm a Marvel guy. Captain America's DC, right? <laughs> except for Batman, I said Rory. Five more autographs to go, then three more boxes. We're making some pretty good time here. All right, we should be done in another 30 minutes or so. Good luck, everybody. Should bring us right to quitting time. Quitting time. Quitting time. Brian Miller, 150. Marlene's. Lawrence Butler, four ninety-nine. Butler, like Alfred the Butler in Batman. It's Jeremiah Jackson. I'm not gonna bury another Batman. I won't do it, Master Bruce. I don't have a good <laughs> I don't have a good that guy voice. I gotta work on that guy voice. I'm not gonna bury another Batman. I'm not gonna do it. Master Wayne. Michael Michael Kane. Michael. Yeah, you kind of have to... It's got to be more nasally. Michael Caine. Michael. I'm not going to bury another bat. See, it's not good. Can't do it. Jeremiah Jackson... Goes to Karen, Karen Paglia with the Angels. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Not gonna bury another Batman. And also for Karen, 
Griffin Canning. I thought that was like a chip in the card for a second. Griffin Canning, just part of the design. Gold paper. Autograph should be. Oh, there it is. Autograph is. There you go, Rory. Bomb. 194 out of 250. Purple Alec Bomb for Rory and the Philadelphia Phillies. The fighting Phils. Not sleeping on the couch tonight, Rory. Am I off the bad breaker list now? Your third overall pick. Um, Eric Ange, EA Sports in the Game, most of you guys know him, um, turned me on to this website called like prospectsforcash.com or something like that, or prospects for cash. Uh, something. He has a the guy has a Twitter account as well. Um, he does like some breakdowns of these uh, of these prospects as it relates to Bowman Draft Baseball. It's it's worth a Google. It's worth a Goog. Because it, I mean, it's it's just one dude's opinion, but it's it's kind of interesting because you know mostly most of the time you're just going to see analysis based off of just scouting reports around the traditional way. But this guy actually relates it to Bowman Draft and says, "Yeah, I'm a buyer of this guy's cards, or I'm not a buyer of this guy's cards." I mean, obviously grain of salt kind of stuff, but I think it could be a good sort of primer, primer starting point. To introduce yourself to some of these rookies and see, you know, who you may or may not want to invest in. There's Aramis Aidman to 150, blue paper for the Cubbies. Right, Eric Bailey. Roy can cancel the hit. And there's Noah Naylor. If you remember, <laughs> no, no, no! I got the Alec bomb for him. He's like, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't get the. <laughs> I didn't get the mission abort text. No, just watch the video. It's thirty-two minutes in. He's like, ain't no one got time to watch Bowman draft super jumbo. I did. Just watch the hit recap at the end of the video then. Oh, Rory feels like we're not done with Alec Baum yet. Yeah, a lot of times we'll see, you know, I mean, this break has, what, five, six, 30 autographs in here? So there's bound to be a duplicate here and there. There's Bo Bouchette. Apologies in advance for the price of the Blue Jays next year. Bo Bouchette, Vlad Guerrero Jr., those are going to be some big names next year. And there's Jackson Coar for the Royals. There you go. Big Rig. Brett Myers on the board. Brett, I've been hearing from other KC fans that, that uh, the Royals had a pretty good 2018 draft. So the rebuild, as painful as it is for Royals fans, especially so recently after a World Series be, could be back on track sooner than you think. All right, one more autograph out of here. Good luck, boys and girls. Are the Giants and Rays going to be expensive next year too, Eric Bailey? Well, who's coming up for those guys? Wait, is Brendan McKay going to be? Is Brendan McKay going to be a rookie, maybe a rookie next year? There's Adonis Medina to 250 for the Phillies. Oh, yeah, A's could be up there in Bowman if Kyler Murray signs. Yeah, we just need Kyler Murray to kind of officially declare what he's going to do with his life. There's Micah Bello at a 250 purple paper for John.
and Cole Wynn. For the Rangers, that goes to Michael K. I haven't heard of Wander Franco. I know Joey Bart. Joey Bart we may not see in full sets until for a number of years, I think, right? He just got drafted. I'm going. I thought Helio Ramos was like the big name. Oh, there's just too many of these players. Keep track. Three boxes to go. 15 autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. We are halfway through this six box break. I guess I was thinking more I guess I was thinking more like like who are going to be the, the, the big rookie names, right? Like Vlad Guerrero is supposed to be getting an everyday – Vlad Guerrero Jr. is supposed to be getting an everyday job, right? This spring, unless he just screws up spring training. So he should be an everyday guy for the Blue Jays this year. Bo Bichette as well probably. Like who are, who are going to be the, like the first-year rookie guys for, their big for the big club? You know, their first rookie auto kind of deal. All right, yeah, like Eloy Jimenez. Isn't, isn't it about time Eloy Jimenez gets called up? Was that deal worth it? No, that was like, that was Quintana. The Cubs and White Sox never make a trip. Almost never do, right? I think it was that, that was the Jose Quintana deal, I think. I want to say... I want to say like EA said he saw him play in like a single or double A game in, in Tennessee somewhere. But, okay, so you're saying Cubs got rocked in that deal, right? I mean, Quintana's not a bad player. But, yeah, which, which Clemens does the Blue Jays have? They got Bo Bichette, Vlad Guerrero Jr., and then a Clemens. And a Conine? Oh, they got Casey Clemens. Well, Eloy Jimenez could be could be a pretty big deal too. If he if he gets called up. Wait, do the Blue Jays also have a Biggio? Caven Biggio? Mike Cody, what's up? I I don't know if Kyle Cody's on this checklist. Mike, your second cousin. That's cool. Rangers. No, I think it's just Owen White and Cole Wynn. I wonder if... Could be a Kyle... When, he, when was he drafted? Padres have Cal, uh, Paul Quantrill's kid, Cal Quantrill. Obviously, there's Fernando Tatis Jr., who we'll see in a year or two for the Padres. That's going to be a big name, too. There's Hunter Green to 99. Green Chrome. Green, green. Green, green, green. Like when they start a NASCAR race. Green, 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 green. Wait, is Ryan Weathers really David Weathers' kid? Wait, no, I think I knew that. No, well, no. I, I think I was so busy making Carl Weathers references that I kind of forgot about that. Albert Abreu out of 499. David Weathers is kid. That I do not know. Is the Conine, Conine's kid suspended a year for drogas? There's Cole Roder for the Cubbies. That'll go to EA. Eric Ange. Obviously, there's uh, Tom Gordon's kids, too. D. Gordon and... 
D. Gordon and why am I blanking on his name? Nick Gordon, right? Shortstop for the Twins. Why isn't Nick Gordon up? Nick Gordon should be called up by now, huh? No? There's Logan Gilbert for the M's. That's out of 250. I feel that it's kind of feeling like that, right? Out of 150, we've got Jameson, mm, Jameson, Jameson Hanna. Nick Gordon made up being a bus as Eric Bailey. He was drafted in 2016 in the sixth round, but still in AAA. All right, so maybe, oh no, you're talking about Kyle Cody? I don't think he'll be in this set. He, you may, there's Tristan Houses uh, for the Red Sox, Eric Bailey. Nice break, Eric Bailey. Um, if your cousin, if your second cousin, Mike Cody, was drafted in the 2016, the sixth round, you're most likely going to see him mostly in 2016 sets. You might check some checklists there. There's a chance that you might see him there. Maybe some, maybe either in this Bowman draft or maybe Elite Extra Edition prospect sets like that. Any Bowman set. And there's Devin Mann, two out of 250. Purple paper for my Dodgers. Dennis with that one. Yeah, about time for Mickey Moniak to step up, right, for the Phillies. Any guesses on this redemption? Uh, what about Royce Lewis? Royce Lewis seems to be the real deal, right? They may, the Phillies may have whiffed on Mickey Moniak, though. He kind of had the feeling because I remember that the that the value of Mickey Moniak, you know, like when he was first drafted in this over the summer after the June draft, it was kind of kind of hot, and then it sort of faded kind of quickly. I don't know. I mean, still young. Obviously, he still still has a shot. But Phillies have a lot of prospects on that team. We we may see him get moved. Maybe, maybe a change of scenery could be something for Mickey Monia. I haven't really looked up his stats recently, but I know, in a general sense, that it's been somewhat disappointing progress for him. At least in the Phillies system. Could be a Phillies thing. Could be a Moniac thing. There's Nolan Gorman to 4.99. Paper for the Cardinals. Johnny thinks a player thing. There's Will Banfield to 150. Oh, I see. I missed the, your first comment, John. Oh, you were saying number one, yeah, number one overall pick, right? Because I remember that he was he was hot for a hot minute, which is great for a position player. And then he hits two twenty. Well, some guys are late bloomers. All right, so Turang is the guess. You were due to receive a class of 2018 autograph of Bryce Turing doesn't start with a J. It's Jake? Jake McCarthy? I think it's the first Jake McCarthy we've seen. Where does he go? Jake McCarthy, I think is, you're right, yeah. 
He is an Arizona Diamondback from Scranton, Pennsylvania. There you go. And that goes to Adam Swift and the Diamondbacks. That's a uh, Taylor's brother. All right, should be expecting one more out of here. Yeah, Mark Appel is already out of the league, right? He was supposed to be the real deal, Holyfield. That's the that's the fun and frustration of this Bowman draft stuff, ladies and gentlemen. You know, like you can you can load up on on a player that you like for some whatever reason. There's Mitchell White to 150, Dodgers. I mean, they can be busts. They can be Hall of Famers. Who knows? Everyone's making an investment on those players, right? The 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 big club, major league clubs are making an investment. And then from a hobby level, we're making investments, and we're trying to see where any of these guys will go. But that's what makes Bowman Draft such a great product. There's Jonathan Stivert, 499. Not a lot of products you can really attach that investment word to, but I think Bowman Draft tends to be one of those, Bowman Baseball tends to be those products where you actually can sort of attach that, that word. And there's Tyler Frank, another one for Eric Bailey and the Rays. Rays are a good pickup. Uh, Nick R., we do not have any Panini Playbook football, no. We did have uh, some old Panini Playbook football, 2016 edition, but that 2018 edition, we don't have any more of that. We just broke that today. Uh, 2018 edition has been extremely popular and I think short printed, so not a lot of shops have them. Not a lot of people have it, I think, and I think if they do... The price has gone up on it. It's like stock market, you know. The price, the value has gone up on it significantly. It's been harder to get. We're always keeping our eyes open for it, but no, none at the moment. But keep checking back on the website. I'm usually not the guy that that, that does does the buying for the for the uh, for the operation. So I just look at jazbeescasebreaks.com every morning, like everybody else. And then see what ends up on the site. All right. Two boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for hanging with me this late, boys and girls. On your Friday nights, too. Appreciate that. You guys can, you guys can be out and about. I guess it's. I guess other parts of the country is really cold. Maybe the motivation to go out not as high. This is our last break of the night, boys and girls. We'll be done with this in about oh, 15 minutes or so. This is the last break of the night. Um, we will be back tomorrow. 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern is around when I usually get here and start firing up the stream. Now, we traditionally break seven nights a week. But due to the New Year holiday and whatnot, we will not be going live on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. But we'll be back on Wednesday. I think the shipping team is coming in on Monday, though, for a little bit. I think anything we do over the weekend, they want to try to try to get sorted and knocked out because then they're, you know, we lose a day because of the first. But then after that, after the first of the year, everything should be back on track. Back to our normal seven night a week schedule. Shipping stuff will be all back to normal as well. I know sometimes during the holidays, the postal service kind of gets bogged down, but all of that should be over too, so. That's the, that's the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we got Durbin Feltman, green chrome to 99. R 
Rory looking for another bomb. Is it bomb or is it bomb? There's John Duplantier to 150. He's supposed to be a strong pitcher for the Diamondbacks organization. who are re in the midst of a rebuild as well. And nice, Nick Madrigal for the White Sox. Eric Bailey, Eric Bailey, crushing. Have all of your teams hit, Eric Bailey? You got you got a Red Sox, you got a White Sox. You need an Indian. You got a Yankee. You need an A, and you got a couple Rays. Nice. That's a strong one right there, though. Fourth overall pick, right behind Alec Baum. Oh, did Naylor hit? Oh, well then, you just need an A then, right? An athletic. Yeah, some, some color would really get you ahead, Eric, Eric Bailey. Nice. All right. And a Brewer for John. We got a lot of autos to go. Nine autographs to go in this break. So plenty of time. And what up, bro? Josh, bro. For Eric Bailey and the Yankees. Nice. Oh, Rory, Rory wants a car with some gold squirrels on it. Ooh, an orange auto would be nice. If we caught an orange auto. Wait, have we not seen? Well, we saw some blue, right? Oh, and Rory's purple, but and that sparkly one, but it's been mostly base or refractor autos. Oh, there's no orange in the super jumbo. Rory saying, "Gotcha." Oh, the franchise futures to two fifty. I knew that looked a little different. Mets will get that one. Okay. We'll settle for a red then, says John. All right, there's Grant Witherspoon. Maybe Reese's brother. And Josiah Gray. It's for Rich. Rich Spit with the new Dodger. Still a red for Rich, though. I heard a stat somewhere that the Dodgers have traded away more minor leaguers than any other team in like the last three years or so or something like that. So it's kind of funny because the Dodgers farm system is still well regarded, but it's not as – it's actually kind of depleted, ironically. Adam Swift with the Diamondbacks, Alec Thomas, Purple Chrome. Oh, he's in Bowman Chrome, says Mike Cody. All right. That's pretty cool, though. There's Nick Sandlin to four ninety nine. I think all of Eric Bailey's teams have now had a hit, if not multiple. Eric Bailey, what a break for you. Jeremy Ironman, Oakland A's, Eric Bailey, 14 out of 143. 
There you go, man. You're welcome. Thanks for getting in. You know, you knew how to pick them today. If we parlayed all of those, all of those teams, get some Vegas odds on here, parlay all the teams that Eric Bailey got, it would have been a big win. Jordan Adams to 150, blue chrome. One auto to go, ladies and gentlemen. We are on the home stretch, the final quarter mile. They're shed long to 499 for the red legs. One more auto somewhere in here. Don't see anything colorful yet. And Chris Bubich for Brett and the Royals. So have five more hours to, to go for uh, that Brady Singer that you were looking for, Brett. All right, last box, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Five more autographs to go, plus parallels. Have not seen a train whistle in in this uh, in this Bowman. <laughs> no, Joe P. It's gar. It's all garbage. Wait, someone won. Wait, what lottery was one? Why were we not in on this, Eric Bailey? Why were you not in on this with all your hits today? There was a $1.5 billion lotto winner, and that person not come forward? Or was this from the, the big Powerball or Mega Millions from like a few months ago? Or maybe more than that. Oh, the one from months ago? That person hasn't... We were speculating that was, I think Rich Schmidt was saying like his dad or an uncle of his or something like that was uh, was in South Carolina and he was kind of joking that it's like, like my dad, my dad won it and he's just like laying low. You know, I mean, not that we're, not that any of us are ever, ever going to win the lottery, but um, they say... The, the experts on, on the internet say that, I mean, you got to get a lot of ducks in order, You're, a lot of ducks in a row before you come forward. You know what I mean? So maybe he's getting a lot of legal stuff together before, you know, that might take some time, you know, so get all the legal stuff together before you actually come forward and say, hey, give me, you know, give me life-changing money. Right. Joe P's like, first is getting an attorney, right? Because you, you got to... There's a lot of weird... I've heard... I've heard, like, you got to... Like, I've heard you get the attorney and then you make an LLC or something. You make a company out of it or a corporation out of it or something like that. And then you, you make yourself a business entity... And there's some like tax sheltering there that you can get and blah, blah, blah. An attorney and an accountant. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's like I just, it's not like I can just get the check and deposit it in my Bank of America checking account, right? <laughs> All right, last five autographs. Good luck. <laughs> can you imagine? I like to I like to deposit a seven hundred million dollar lump sum. <laughs> Eric Bailey. Eric says like if I won, I would I would sneaky like <laughs> I would I would finish filling breaks just when I think the night is over and I want to go home. You'll be like oh Joe Dynasty sold out. What are you gonna do? 
Not open Dynasty tonight? Fine. <laughs> Joe, I just sold out Leaf Best of Football. What are you going to do? You gonna, you're just going to ditch me? Man, savage. <laughs> Thing is, you'd get me too, Eric Bailey, because I'd be like, well, I kind of want to know what's inside too. I have that same itch, you guys. I have that same curiosity. What's in here? Oh, no, stop. <laughs> we're not doing, we're not doing a Tops update. There's Griffin Roberts, Cardinals, Giuseppe with the Redbirds. If we move into the new shop that has like a shower and a full kitchen and all that, I, I might be tempted to do that. Donner's <laughs> basketball. Oh, God. Prism's okay. Donner's basketball, though. <laughs> I don't know if that, that works that well <laughs> for the group breaks. Ryan Vallad. Purple for the purple team. We got Josh Bro again. Paper parallel for Eric Bailey. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it has laundry on site, but it has two patios. No, I don't think we're getting that spot. Ooh, gold wave? Should we end with the gold wave? It's kind of an expensive place. That might be the place after the next place. We got to go to the next place first, a little bit, a little bit bigger than this, not as big as the other one, and then see if we can get to that place. I know, that would be a cop-out, though, Joe P. Can you imagine? Eric Bailey buys out Briggs and will be like, you know what, we'll just ship you the case. <laughs> you do it. <laughs> Couldn't do that, Joe P. Eric might, get, Eric might get it in his head. It's like, wait a second. I could be opening and selling these cases. I could do what Joe does. And then he becomes a competitor. I would just have Eric Bailey just invest in this business. There's Joey Wentz. Just buy cases, invest in Jaspies as an angel investor. You know, so part, part of the business. There's Josh Stowers, another Mariner for Last Spot Mojo, Anthony P. We started the first box had one, now the last box has one. All right, start some Jaspi coin, Eric Bailey. You can do that. We're still alive. Not for much longer, though. We're alive for about that much. That much time. Yeah, last bond mojo, you know, 60% of the time, it hits 100% of the time. Brett looking for this guy right here. <laughs> yeah, we're breaking goodnight after this. For one night only. Lenny, Lenny Torres for Eric Bailey and the Indians. Great break, Eric.
There's Sean. Sean Gilby, 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 Sean Gilby. I'm going going with Gilby. Sean Gilby to 4.99 for the Padres. That's for you, Jess. Should be one more autograph in the fifth. Is that gold, wavy, shimmery thing back there? There's Caden Grenier for Karen Steele and the O's. There you go, Karen. And we're going to end with... Bam! Jordan Adams, 33 out of 50 gold wave auto. We're ending with two hits for two Karens. Karen Seal got the Orioles hit, and Karen Paglia with the Angels. Nice one, Karens. Thanks for joining the break, ladies. Appreciate it. All right. Nice finish, boys and girls. Okay. Left, right randomizer here. Let's get that set up. All right, left, right randomizer on that one. After five times, two and a three. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. After five times, left side will get him. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So left side. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Another great Bowman draft break in the books. It's a longer break, but there's a lot of great hits in there. So check out uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com for more eight-box jumbos. I think we've got a couple more of those cases left. So check it out. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Good night.